right before the pandemic, I started taking mushroom tinctures and it was like, wow, I'm not, I'm not getting sick. What is this whole thing? I feel better. My clarity, my thoughts, my sleep, my inflammation in my body. I noticed sizable differences in how I was functioning and feeling every day. And so we thought, let's do this. Let's get into uh, being a company that's the top, that's going to do it ethically with a very, very important cause behind us. Not a mission to make a bunch more money and be an entrepreneur and sell my stock off and all that. No way. I want to get this out to people. I want people to be under at least you know a misunderstanding again of the whole range of, of, of fungi that are out there in this huge queendom that we know very little about and we've only scratched the surface. It's been used in Chinese medicine and in Eastern mm. medicine for centuries mm. to treat all kinds of ailments and disease, even being used to uh, help in cancer treatments or even treat uh, patients that are willing to use it to help with cancer. I'm not saying it cures cancer, but I know there's a lot of properties in these amazing organisms that are showing signs and have been used and there's anecdotal evidence and there's research done over in China that's showing really the sky's the limit. Most of us never learned how to train our brains, which is why most of us needlessly settle, struggle, and worse, suffer. My name is Chris Doris and I want to make brain training mainstream. This is my series, Tough Talks, Conversations on Mental Toughness. I'm interviewing badasses from all walks of life on what mental toughness means to them and their unique approaches to strengthening their minds. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tough Talks, Conversations on Mental Toughness. I am your host, Chris Doris. And before I introduce our amazing guest today, uh, let's take care of our one housekeeping item as, as usual. If you aren't getting the daily dose Mental toughness tips in 30 seconds or less delivered to your email inbox every morning, every day of the year, 365. It's 6 a.m. ish, wherever you are in the world. And if you aren't getting notifications of, or if you're not getting my blog posts that come out every Tuesday, and if you're not getting notifications of these new Tough Talks podcast interviews, we can clear that all up very quickly, very virtually, effortlessly, by going to ChristopherDoris.com backslash lists, L-I-S-T-S, ChristopherDoris.com, backslash lists, name, email, click, and you get the goods. <clears throat> Jake the Snake, that's our guy today. I I'm pumped as hell about this. His name is Jake Plummer. For those of you who don't know, he played, he was a quarterback for uh, Arizona State University, which is where I went for, to graduate school, and I actually was... Um, the mental coach for the coaching staff of the football team right after Jake left with uh, Coach Dirk Cutter. You know, so it's, this whole ASU situation is near and dear to my heart. He was best friends with uh, Pat Tillman. We'll see if we can get Pat in the conversation. <clears throat> Absolute hero. The late, great Pat Tillman. They were besties. So um, Jake is, you know, he played 10 years in the NFL. He played six here for the Cardinals. He was drafted by the Cardinals. Out of college, which is pretty cool, you know, because he played in the same stadium. It was before the Cardinals built their own stadium, so he actually played at Sun Devil Stadium. That's where the Cardinals played. So that was pretty neat. And then he played four years um, in Denver, where he, he lives near Denver now. And, you know, a, a couple months ago, I was working out with my trainer, Billy B. Dubs, my enter trainer. He's a former Tough Talks guest also. Billy Wood Mancy, and we were talking about Jake, because Jake is in the world of mushrooms now. Uh, so we were, we were just talking about him. And then, very shortly after that, I went to play golf at the place here, Mesa Country Club, where I play in Arizona. And um, Declan is uh, Jake's nephew. <clears throat> he works at the club. And I met him and said, oh, I was just talking about your uncle, man. I'd love to meet him. He said, I'll introduce you. So thank you, Declan. So he introduced us and, and we got him on the show. So uh, I'm really an absolute novice um, when it comes to the world of mushrooms. I want to learn. I, I have a feeling we're, we're going to get educated good here from a master who is now uh, dedicating his life to the healing healing physiologically and um, psychological healing 
qualities of functional mushrooms. And I want to talk to him about, I want him to define that for me. And then there's psychedelic. I want to talk about the psychedelic side as well, which I think is some near future stuff. So anyway, uh, without further ado, Jake is waiting for us. Let's go find the man. There he is, the man, the legend, Jake the Snake. Jake Plummer, what's up, bro? Oh, man, just enjoying life and uh, enjoying getting to meet uh, individuals like yourself that are doing something, whether it's podcasts or working with athletes or planting a tree to make the world better, whatever it is, man. So it's, uh, it's a pleasure to join you today. Thanks, man. I appreciate you making the time. I know you got a lot going on, and it's goodness. I got to tell you, this is where I was wanting to start here. I saw there's a sentence that's on your website that really, really caught my attention and is, is um, well, it's pretty much the reason I do what I do. So your sentence on the website is, we're on a mission to move minds with mushrooms. Now, I'm not moving minds with mushrooms, at least not at the moment, but my whole life is about moving minds, right? My whole world, that's what this podcast, Tough Talks Conversations on Mental Toughness is all about moving minds. So I love that. Can you elaborate on that? We're moving, we're on a mission to move minds with mushrooms. Yeah, I mean, you could basically um, just think about it as as anybody that's curious and and has, has the uh, ambition and that seeks whether that's knowledge or seeks the best, you know, good food or is out to just like move your mind to another level, not get stuck in the regular common everyday, uh, you know, regurgitated, uh, whatever it may be on, on the radio or on TV or the regular old social norms would like to, to move minds using mushrooms because we've felt the, the power behind that whole entire uh, fungal, I call it a queendom, not a kingdom, because I, I believe that oh, it has it has a lot of uh, it. The fungal queendom, it it leaks into every other kingdom, <laughs> you know, plants, animals, all of that. There's all this like, uh, all of this outside of this world that is all run through mycelium and the beautiful, you know, mycelial web and fungus. So. I don't say fungus in a bad way, fungus in a good way, fungi, you know, the fungi is huge. And so we're trying to, again, just bring something to Western medicine and Western society that was really eliminated for a long time. Mm. And it's not like we're some new scientist or uh, researcher discovering these new things. This isn't a discovery. This is a remembrance of, of mm. time way back. We're just channeling this information to anybody that's wanting to listen and has a curious mind. Uh, that's I love that. So, all right, I want we we're, we're going to need some education from you. Yeah, all right. Okay. So, what I'm thinking, if this sounds cool to you, is to talk um, functional versus psychedelic. All right. What does that even? What does that stuff mean? But I have another question before we even get to that. Um, and then the future, like, what do you see happening? You know, and what do you want to see happening? Right. And and of course, all related to. Uh, the mind but but how did you, so your company is called umbo yeah right and umbo is a raised area in the center of a mushroom cap yeah yeah the very tip top like the crest it yeah. also is a is a boss on a shield that a shield going into battle and that little bump on the on the tip uh -huh. on the shield, middle of the shield that's raised so that's also an umbo and we have an umbo in our eardrum mm -hmm. where our eardrum comes to a point it's like anything that's the tip top point so umbo kind of has a dual meaning we wanted to be Great. one of the best most trusted um, products on the market as this new market is coming into the fold and more people are discovering it as a form of uh, optimizing your general health and well-being yeah and we wanted to kind of plant ourselves with a very good uh, brand or you know a term umbo to be hey if you're looking for the best we're the top <laughs> that works now, before we get into all the what, like what is functional, what is psychedelic, what is going on, what are the effects, what are the benefits? Let's talk about the why for a second here. Like of all the things, all the ways that you could be using your your post NFL life, why this and how? Um, well, it's been a journey since I retired in 06. You know, I did the do nothing for a while, live in the woods, decompress from the whole entire, you know, 10 years in the NFL, four years at Arizona State of high level performance um i, I went really to grad school yeah i, went to gra I, I actually yeah. i forgot to tell you this 
But Dirk, right after you, I just missed you. I actually coached the coaching staff with Dirk. Dirk hired yeah. me to work with the team. Dirk's an Idaho, Idaho boy too, you know, his That's dad, right, coach, right, uh, right on. Patello, and yeah, good, good family right. there. A great coach, uh, you know, really did his part, but um, yeah. So, so uh, I went through, you know, all of the postseason, post-career ups and downs of a roller coaster, um, coached a little bit, did a little TV broadcast, a little radio, had my own podcast, um, oh, okay. dabbled in a digital playbook called Ready List Sports that's still out there it's a all-in-one platform for teaching the game of football um mm -hmm. readylistsports.com it's a great app for flag football all the way up to the pros and so i dabbled in that being an entrepreneur um but really what changed my trajectory was working with charlotte's web the hemp oils that were very misunderstood as uh lumped together with marijuana and cannabis and so everybody just assumed when I was talking hemp oils that I was wanting them to get stoned and go binge watch friends and eat Cheetos and be a pothead stoner. And I'm like, whoa, let's even like evaluate what marijuana is being used for here in Colorado and not just assume that it's, you know, Spicoli on fast times smoking marijuana. A lot of high level, high level individuals that are performing athletically or even uh, intellectually have used this as a medicine for a long time and it's just becoming aware. So huge education there. The Charlotte's Web worked with children that were suffering from extreme um, uh, seizures. Uh, really, really, some really sad stories of mothers that were being persecuted for giving their children hemp oil, mm. which had no psychotropic effect, way different than THC in, in marijuana. Um, yet just another misunderstood plant. And so mm. the education there with the football players using it to help us and how profound it was on our healing brought light to these mothers that had been fighting for a long time to be able to give this to their children, that it was also having a profound effect on their day-to-day -day existence and lives. So it was really, really powerful to step into plants and even just nature as medicine. Fast forward to Del Jolly, who's my business partner with Umbo, introduces me to Rashad Evans, former UFC Hall of Famer, gives us some tinctures right before the pandemic. I started taking mushroom tinctures and was like, wow, I'm not, I'm not getting sick. What is this whole thing? I feel better. My clarity, my thoughts, my sleep, my inflammation in my body. I noticed sizable differences in how I was functioning and feeling every day. And so we thought, let's do this. Let's get into uh, being a company that's the top, that's going to do it ethically with a very, very important cause behind us, not a mission to make a bunch more money and be an entrepreneur and sell my stock off and all that. No way. I want to get this out to people. I want people to be under at least, you know, a misunderstanding again of the whole range of, of, of fungi that are out there in this huge queendom that we know very little about. And we've only scratched the surface. It's been used in Chinese medicine and in Eastern mm. medicine for centuries mm. to treat all kinds of ailments and disease even being used to uh, help in cancer treatments or even treat uh, patients that are willing to use it to help with cancer. I'm not saying it cures cancer, but I know there's a lot of properties in these amazing organisms that are showing signs and have been used. And there's anecdotal evidence and there's research done over in China that's showing really the sky's the limit. And so to be able to jump into this now and have gone through my path of retire, have those moments of, damn, I missed the game, moving into, oh, my body's starting to now fall apart. I need to get surgeries to the mental side of being depressed because what could compare to playing the game on Sunday was really very few things that could compare to being one of the best in the entire world at what I was doing and leading a team out in front of 75,000 people, whether they were cheering for us or against us. You know, what can we get to compare? There's really nothing. So you have to find something you're passionate about. And I've always been into nature. I've loved mushrooms, not to the level I know them and enjoy them now, but I knew about them and have been a fan of them, but didn't understand the functional side of, of this whole entire adaptogenic organism that's so good and so bioavailable and so similar to us humans. Adaptogenic. Yeah, that term is... Um, Came about through the through um, the, the World War One with the German army uh, trying to help them adapt to being out in the field with 
stuff being fired at them to being able to go rest. They were hitting these highs and lows. And so adaptogens help counter the in between of like you get so extreme anxiety or you get so down here, low depression or whatever it is, let's find a middle line and adaptogenics seem to be able to balance that out in our bodies. And so there's a lot of adaptogens out there, but mushrooms are one of the best. Wow. I love the sentence. I wrote it down. Just another misunderstood plant. Yeah, but it's not a plant. It has its own queendom. So there's a whole nother thing. This is an entire- uh, you, yeah, You're using that reference, I think, to- Yeah, I say, you know, home. nature, nature, medicine is, nature is medicine, you know, and that's where, mm. you know, when you ask, how did I get to here? Mm. I don't know. Um, I'm open to receive. I, I, I have great people that come into my lives that, that see me and understand who I am. And like Dale Jolly is a visionary, one of my best friends. And he's introduced me not only to, you know, he's introduced me to all- fungi and all of the <laughs> levels you can do it do it and i'm grateful for that and i want to share that story so other people can understand there are there are ways you can take health take some of your health back in your own hand and start feeling better mm. and functioning at a different level optimize your day-to-day -day existence which talking earlier with you you know you're going to wake up and i'm going to have a great day it's going to be a beautiful day and like if you tell yourself that, that the mind has an interesting way of receiving that though and, and creating more of those cells that believe that rather than oh damn here's another day you know so it's just a lot of it has to do with what happens in your head and your gut and your body and um, i'm a believer in it because it's helped me tremendously yeah you just mentioned gut you know um you know i focus so much on the mind but i've been learning a little bit lately about the gut and and i'm fascinated with the sentence that we've all used forever which is well trust your gut trust your gut mm -hmm. what what does that mean to you trust your like 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 in the not not in a euphemistic way like yeah. in a scientific way what does that mean to you well i mean if we want to think about it we have our chakra centers too that run right up through our spine and one of them is located in your you know, a lot of there's they're all the way from your root all the way up to the crown and uh down where the gut is is where a lot of intuition is where a lot of um yeah. trust in yourself and being able to have uh rooted to where you are uh so trusting your gut to me is is um when you feel that feeling and you feel something is right or you feel that it's not is to not not shun that Okay, that feeling came about. Why is that? And then a lot of times it leads to you go down the right path. I've trusted my gut many, many, many times. Mm -hmm. I do that now, even when I meet people or, or find a connection and have somebody say that wants to invest in Umbo. I trust my gut because we don't want anybody, just anybody. And I don't want to sound like, you know, higher than mighty, but like, this is a cause. This isn't invest in us. We'll turn your million into 20. No, no, no. We're going to try to do this right. And we're going to benefit, yes, but our plans are to take what we raise and what we what we get from this and do even bigger, greater things to help create healing centers, to help create, you know, mushroom, gourmet mushroom cultivation um, boxes in, in the food deserts where, where kids are not getting the nutrition they need to, again, take care of their gut that directly correlates to, correlates to how well your brain functions. It's, it's, it's being proven what our gut has in it, how your gut performs, if it's functioning well and absorbing the nutrients, it is going straight to, ha to how well your brain, it's feeding mm. your brain. So, you know, you put high octane gas in your car. If you put the right things in your stomach, it still might not work if your stomach is not working properly. And turkey tail is a mushroom that is showing in immense- Turkey tail? Turkey tail, yes. Turkey tail. Trim Trimetis versicolor is the Latin name. And so- it's a beautiful mushroom. It's not one you would eat gourmet, but it's one that you can extract in your in your gut. It it's it's helping um, clean clean your gut and help it function at a lot better rate, which in turn correlates to better clarity, more focus, higher level thinking. So it also is being used in Japan to help treat breast cancer. So again, a, tr a mushroom that has some things that we know that it can do, but the more we 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 start um, taking these and have people understand and like be aware of their bodies and, and share with us what it's doing we're finding out that it's doing even more than we know and so mm. it's a beautiful thing to be involved in it really has changed my life to know that we're scratching the surface of 
you know, the Empire State Building, we have basically built the foundation of what we know is wow. the foundation is what we know right now of the mushrooms. And then every brick that's been made that was put into that building, that's another organism we have yet to discover or even that we may have discovered yet we haven't been able to see if maybe there is some bioavailability to the human body that can help with all of this you know disease and ailments and things that we're suffering from so it's it's really exciting in that is years, exciting as hell, in 100 man. years you know it'll be a little further on but okay we still so we'll we'll we'll, i want to talk to you about that what you're yeah. you see but 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 first like dumb it down for us okay uh shrooms 101 man what is what does functional mushroom even mean what's functional what's, why the word functional and then what's the difference between that and psychedelic yeah so we, we break them down i do basically three categories you know functional are the ones that you would use to function better that would help your body uh come to balance and some of what i've listed the ones we focus on um where we grow out at michael love farm it are uh lion's mane cordyceps and reishi and so those all are functional. Um, cordyceps are not gourmet. Reishi are not gourmet. Lion's mane is actually one of the most beautiful gourmet mushrooms on the planet. It was so yummy to cook, yet it also is a functional mushroom. So it does have dual purpose. Um, then you throw in, uh, you know, sh sh shiitake that's also really good for us functionally, but also a great gourmet mushroom. Oyster mushrooms that are starting to grow on, so on trees right now in the spring and come out because uh, the temperatures are right and the humidity, they are also extremely good for, for your body, but they're also amazing gourmet to eat at home. So there's gourmet, like I'm mentioning, that people are familiar with, like portobello mushrooms or the little white cremini in the, in the um, restaurants. They come from the agaric family, which actually the agarics are poisonous. So if you eat too many of those, they may not be great for you. And that's, that's a great mushroom, but it really doesn't have a ton of, of value. Like I mentioned with like lion's mane mm -hmm. or um, chestnut mushrooms or oyster mushrooms, or if you go out and use forage or morels, uh, chanterelles, there's so many mushrooms out there, gourmet that are so good for you uh, to eat and taste really good. Um, so then now we jump into the, the one that's, that causes a lot of confusion and that's the psychedelic mushrooms. Uh, you know, psilocybin cubensis, it's a mushroom that became well-known um, in the 70s or 60s, actually, and, and, and people started using it. Um, it was in Oaxaca in Mexico, Maria Sabina. There's a long line. You can dive into the rabbit hole and learn a lot about her and what they did in their indigenous community to treat and just to use the, the psilocybin mushroom for general health. And they didn't have mental health. They they cured, they didn't have a lot of mental health issues because this was something that was just part of what they did as a Native American tribe. Um, so then it came into Western culture. They did a lot of research in the 70s, and then it all got shelved uh, when the war on drugs came around. Um, so psychedelics will take you on a hallucinogenic experience, will take you into um, you know other realms, whatever you want to say, and they're not to be taken lightly as like a recreational thing. I uh, microdosing has now become something a lot of people are doing where you take a little teeny bit, you don't even, you have no visuals, you have no idea that you're even taking it, but it is helping um, a lot of people with depression, anxiety, PTSD, you name it. We're having a lot of uh, results with people at high, high levels microdosing. So, so um, let's slow that down, Skosh, okay? Yeah. Because um, I, don't, I don't want to assume that people even know what that means. Yeah. But okay, because this is unbelievably valuable, man. This is yeah. like huge. I used to be a licensed therapist and I left that to go to coaching. You know why? Speed. Yeah. Right. The technologies are advancing. All right. And it's all about reducing unnecessary goddamn human suffering. Yes. So this is amazing to me. Everything that you're saying. So I want to slow some of this stuff down for people. Make sure I want to assume. So tell me about microdosing. Microdosing is is taking you know, you know seventy five milligrams, maybe a hundred milligrams of uh, psilocybin. There's lots of different strains, different different types, um, in a powder form. Uh, Paul Stamets, he's one of the leading. He's been a leading mushroom mycologist expert. He's he is the leading. How do you spell his last name? Stamets. S T A. M E T S. Okay, thanks. And he's lives in the Northwest. He's studied these things forever. His story is amazing. 
His TED Talks are phenomenal. Mm. He is a high level, intellectual, brilliant human that has been behind the movement of, you know, using mushrooms um, to help save the world. <laughs> Everyone wow. included, all plants, all animals. So he's a very, uh, very, very uh, influential person in this as an educator speaks in a different, in a different way than me. I did not study this. I'm just learning it. I'm studying it as I go, but he's been doing this for years. And his stack was psilocybin with some lion's mane and some niacin. And that would help, you know, push the, the psilocybin through the lion's mane, which is um, huge in neuronal projection and neuronal growth and repair throughout the whole body. So it's taking it out to the neurons, helping them search for more connections um, and then niacin also works with the blood to uh, help it get all the way out to the extreme parts of your body. And so with the microdosing, a lot of people are finding a lot of, of um, relief from stress, day-to-day -day stress, uh, again, anxiety. Um, I, I can't break it down in the science of it because we're all yeah. just kind of learning that as we go. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but it, but when you go into past microdosing and go into, you know, a, a, a ceremony with the mushroom with psilocybin, you're taking a, a larger dose, like three grams, four grams, you know, heroes doses go from six and up where you're taking you say a hero? lot of hero? Hero? Hero, hero dose. They call that it a hero dose. That makes it sound dose. like it's cool. Like I was, uh, well, like, I mean, I this is be the something, hero. again, like this isn't something like, oh, you hear me talk about this and you run down get some and take it and, and you know, oh, this wasn't fun. I freaked out. Well, you were by yourself mm. in your basement with mm. no one there to help you. This is something serious. It's sacred. Mm. It's not to be played with. Yeah. And a lot of people use it to go um, go out to the mountains or go to a concert. Um, a, a higher dose will uh, kind of regulate your default mode network, which is the default mode network regulates like your, when we go like, oh, I should go over there. Well, no, maybe I shouldn't. You have that little voice in your head that constantly says, well, wait, don't do that. Hey, you shouldn't drive over that log or you, know, you shouldn't go climb up that tree. When you take psilocybin, it shuts that down. So then you're not, you're not being silly and like climbing and getting yourself in danger, but it just takes that self doubt away and lets you drop into really being super present and in the oneness that's created all of what, what surrounds us. So they're using it to the real cool research that's happening right now is they're using psilocybin for uh, extreme addiction and alcoholism, oh, which yeah, is a problem in our story. country. So this isn't me just making this up to make people buy our product. This is me helping inform people like use this, start doing some research. Your doctor is needed. Western medicine has a purpose, but lately it's been to give you a pill to help the pharmaceutical company make money to help them prosper while we all remain in this cycle of what, why am I not feeling good? Why can't I think? What is my outlook for life to get Alzheimer's dementia and be limited in my mobility and have arthritis and all this brain cognitive function decline? No. The function of being a human and living is to optimally live as long as we possibly can to the highest level we can. Mm -hmm. And right now we're realizing that, that fungi are, are one route you can investigate and look at to possibly uh, accomplish that. What, are uh, psychedelic mm -hmm. mushrooms legal anywhere in this country right now? They're they're not. They're class no schedule one. Um, what happened here in Denver last year? We we passed a proposition to decriminalize nature, <laughs> not just meaning psilocybin, but you know, peyote, <laughs> San Pedro, uh, cactus. I mean, there's a lot of plants in nature that help that can help us that have been. Uh, put on schedule one or deemed, you know, illegal. And for us as humans, I think it's our right to eat a carrot if we want, or to take peyote if you want, because it's coming from earth. You mm. believe in God and you believe that God created everything on this planet for all of us, for everything, the balance. And these, these are here for our benefit, not to, uh, not to our detriment, but they're also here to be treated with sacred, righteous re reverence and not toyed with but to actually have some purpose behind and understand what kind of, uh, you know, what things that, what they can do for us to, as you do as a mental coach, help people optimize and live better and function better. So it's been amazing, man. I'm like, my journey is, is so fun. It's like, here I am. And uh, it's helping me, but I'm learning daily. I'm not perfect. I have bad days. I have bad days that come up. We all do. There's a balance. 
but I know that I work through it at a different rate and in a different way, benefiting from what I've learned through sitting with, with the psilocybin, microdosing when I need to, but taking functional mushrooms every day and trying to eat gourmet mushrooms as much as I can. Are you familiar with ayahuasca? Mm-hmm. Well, well, is there a relation? Ayahuasca isn't it a combination of plants. Yeah, it's, it's two two plants together uh, that have been used for forever down in uh, South America, uh, and it's becoming you know pretty well known, and and a lot of people it's, uh, you know coming to it to use it as a as a form just to advance and and maybe visit some past traumas that you may be stored away that have been limiting you from being the best you can be. And we all deal with traumas. Hey, you know? Why were these things deemed illegal? I know you mentioned a few minutes ago, you know, the war on drugs happened. Uh, like, why, That's a good question. <laughs> like, what, what's the thinking behind that? Uh, I mean, we could go deep into all kinds of conspiracies and rabbit holes of, you know, do we want high level functioning humans questioning how society is and how it's been for years and what are the norms and why do we, why do we go to college and get debt, then work our asses off to own a home, to have more debt, to then retire when we're 70 and our memory's fading and we have arthritis and life is really not great. Um, when yeah. you get into this realm and you open yourself up to, to understand that, I find beauty when I'm wherever I'm at. I mean, I find it no matter where I'm at, I look for it. It doesn't, it, it's not something I, I seek. It just shows up, you know, like I love that. sitting outside under a tree and understanding the beauty of that tree. And like, we get so caught up today and in our, in our push to always excel when sometimes taking your foot off the gas, slowing down, you'll excel even faster than you ever have with full, full throttle down. And so it, it, it's a huge shift and it's hard for people to make when they're coming home, watching the game, watching ESPN or watching bad, you know, watching TV all the time or diving into electronics and what they're putting in their bodies, what they're drinking, what they're eating, who they're hanging out with, how they're speaking about themselves, mm. the words they use to the, the thoughts they put out when they look at themselves in the mirror. And like this all was so I've been around a long time, but it's becoming more and more prevalent for, for people to become aware and not only become aware, but then institute the change you need to, to create the life you want while we're here for this short little time like, mm. and we're gone. And so yeah. let's, let's all kind of raise our vibration. And if we collectively do that, then there's change happening that can't be stopped. You can't, you can't stop what's happening right now. It's, there's, there's major things happening right now. With, with psychedelics and people coming to grips with life and what really matters. And it's not having three cars in your garage, one of which you maybe drive once in a while. It's, it's enjoying the people you're with. It's building community. So when tough times come, you're not alone in your basement contemplating ending it. You're actually surrounded by people that love you and will hold you and help you through the tough times as you will do for them when it comes around their turn to deal with what life presents us when no, none of us are getting out of here alive. So we all better be braced for having the tools to deal with this, you know, what life hands us. And, and when you do that, you, you, you spend less time focused and worried on the bad in the world. And your shift goes to what's so beautiful in this world and what's amazing in this world because it's, it, we're surrounded by beauty. Preach, baby. Preach, bro. Uh, I'm loving what you're throwing yeah. down, baby. That's nice, man. That's thank you. Nice. Uh, that's, thank you, Holmes, because... Thank you for the way you're choosing to use your life, man. You created a platform from excellence in sport and you're using it beautifully. And, it, and so I appreciate what you're bringing. And, and I'm, I'm excited as hell talking. I was excited as hell looking. I was really looking forward to this. And this is why the way I'm feeling right now. So, okay. There's a beautiful segue right there into our last topic, which is future, man. What are you saying? Ah, uh, you know, it's, it's, I hope is, you got good news. <laughs> well, the future really is is uh, any, nothing you can control, and uh, what I'm do you not predict? trying. What do I predict? What do you? What would you like to see happen? I know I'm changing my questions, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, for me and what I see in my future is um, a long, healthy life full of a lot of love and experiences, and people and connections. 
Um, also just trying to be the best version of me that I can, loving myself first and foremost so that I can represent myself well to my children, my family, my community. Um, and that all just comes through day-to-day uh, -day learning and, and, and carrying yourself in the light you want to carry yourself in. Um, the future of where we're going as far as um, I think, you know, sports are never going away. High impact sports are never going away. Uh, the I mean, specifically here, with mushrooms, though, right? The future I mean, what is going to yeah. be happening. So, so, so that's what I'm getting to is that oh, there's bad. a lot of people, bad, there's bro. a lot of people out there that are, that have, are near and dear to me that were teammates that are suffering, you, you know, in the, in the, they're not suffering, but they're having tough, tough times adapting or finding out what's next or moving into life. Mm. And I feel like what's next for mushrooms is for more people to hear a podcast like this, to re do some research themselves maybe reach out. I mean, I'm, I'm reachable on, on Instagram at snake plumber. Um, I don't mind answering questions or pointing you in the right direction for questions if, or answers to your questions, but it's for us to, in the future, I think it's, it's to expand our minds to more possibilities than what we de deal with day to day and, and find out there's other ways to excel. There's other ways to approach being the best at what you want to be. And it's not always driving yourself into the ground as hard as you can with all these obligations and stress. Sometimes, like I said, it's stepping back. Um, I always took breaks from, from the game. I never, I never worked 12 months on football ever in my life. That was, I would have been done with football at age 22. I would have said no way in hell. This is dumb. I had way too many other things that were of interest to me. So diversification and being able to adapt to other things and be open-minded to what's out there. You know, I mean, I've met a lot of amazing people in my life. And one thing that I was always amazed by them is their curiosity. They weren't just status quo. Okay. This is what we do. Let's walk through this door and we go over here and they hope us in the arm with this vaccine. And then we go about our life and wear our masks. And I, let's think about this and, and not just always jump right into what we're being told as the ultimate truth, because we find out down the road, wow, those guys, some of them were not telling the truth. And so I hope that the, the growth of this turns into people, um, one, being open-minded and more curious, two, being kinder to themselves and others, and, and three, is, is finding what they are passionate about and finding enjoyment in the in day-to-day -day life. And so I think through Mushrooms, it's helped me find a path. And as I mentioned, this is a, this is just starting. Mm. So I tell my nephews, my nieces, I tell people that have kids, like bring them out to my farm. Let's get them out to Michael Love Farm and show them these things hands on. My kids are going to be into this. They love it. At some point in their lives, they're going to be out finding a mushroom that could cure glaucoma or mm. <laughs> ringing in the ears, tinnitus, or you name it, who knows? But letting people know, like, this isn't going away. This has started. So where where is the future of mushrooms? I have no idea <laughs> because it's just we're just getting into it. And uh, I think, you know, there's a mushroom that eats plastic that will take away and mm. actually eliminate plastic. There's a food. They're finding that? more of them. Yeah, they're that's finding more of them, too. Amazing. Yeah. So here's our problem on Earth is all this plastic that's that's it's killing our oceans and our animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. And when yeah. we're gone, there's going to be a pile of plastic and it's going to be real embarrassing. You go to the golden, the, the pearly gates and have to answer to, yeah, I played a part in that. I buy all this plastic and I don't do anything about it. Like there's a chance that mushrooms could actually help us with that problem that we've created. So what's the future? I don't know. But people out there that are curious and want to get into this, it's, it's, it's a fascinating world. And, um, I see the future of being more and more people being less um, fearful and more educated about the, the, the queendom of fungi and see what happens. Let's see what change comes from that. <laughs> Are you a Ted Lasso fan? I haven't watched that. I've had a lot of people tell me to check that out. Okay. Well, put me on that list. Um, okay. I, I'm going to send I, you, when we're done, I'm going to send you a couple things. Are you familiar with Louis Schwartzberg? Yes. Do you know him? Uh, I've met Louie, talked to him on, talked to him on a couple of zooms and unbelievable. And, the guy's yeah, amazing. fantastic fun guy. Yeah. In fact, the, 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 the research, I I mentioned, the, yeah. the research I mentioned with psilocybin and alcoholism is being done by Louie and they're, they're doing some amazing stuff. They're oh, having, I got to get him. Yeah, I, I think he may, have, on the show. he may have come out with the results or some of the findings recently, but 
if you go look, uh, he, he may not have come out with it yet because they're doing the research and it's like, he's having a profound effect on people's lives. Dude, let me tell you a short story about Louis. So uh, there's a video that, I mean, he's famous for these incredible videos that he makes. Yes. Right? And one of them is called Gratitude HD. And have you seen it? Yep. Okay. All right. I was just going to send it to you, but you know it. I've so seen I, it. Amazing. It's so, dude, I've watched that thing hundreds of times because I use it when I speak. I use it in my coaching. Every time I get choked up, man, it is so beautiful. And, the, and I don't know where he found Brother David Stondelrast. You couldn't find a better narrator for that situation. Yeah. But that's yeah. so beautiful. One day, so I'm at this event called Summit out in L.A. It happens every year. And I get, you know it? No. Okay. So they get Jillian's a great speaker. And Louis was the last one of the whole thing. And I was really excited to see it was like 9 p.m. on the last day. And I got I sat right up front, all right, and listened to him speak. And it was amazing. And afterwards, I jumped up, ran up, and I said, bro, can I give you a hug? And he said, yeah. I said, I, I mean, I use your gratitude video. Actually, the first thing I said to him is, I love you, man. And you know what he said back? I love you, too. He doesn't know who the hell I am. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Isn't that nice? That's gave yes. a big old yes, hug. kindness. Yeah, so I'm going to send you a link from Ted Lasso. You keep saying be curious, and I love that. There's a great – you got to watch Ted Lasso then. Yeah, and then there's you gotta, a lot you gotta of get it. Dude, it's it's beautiful. It's, it's all about leadership. But one of the, the one of my favorite scenes, maybe I think is the best scene ever in the entire show, uh, is about being curious. Yes, yes. So Absolutely. tell us about – go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. You're the guest, man. <laughs> These people hear me too much. There's a lot of people. Louis, one of them. I mentioned Paul Stamets, William Padilla Brown. There are a lot of people out that are out doing real hands-on work. You know, I'm an influencer. I have kids. I got a lot of stuff going on. I do my work too, but there are so many people out there that are, that are diving into just like you said, curiosity to see what we can do to help the world thrive, heal and, and function better. So I'm just one small piece of this. I'm a conduit of this ancient knowledge that's, it's not like I'm finding out something new. This has been around a long time. So it's a gift. It's really a gift to be able to have influence. That's beautiful. Tell us about these two. Get yeah. The, and, and then you are farm, right? Michael Love, tell us tell us about these things. Yeah, getumbo.com. Uh, that started me, Dale and Rashad Evans. Again, like I said, trying to come into this without with the right with the right mission, vision, and cause to respect the queen respect fungi and not just capitalize on it and try to make a bunch of money so I can have a yacht and own an island. That's not the point here. If I own an island, it's going to be a island retreat for people to come and heal and feel loved and feel held. And it's all going to benefit people. So what we capitalize on with, with fungi is going to go back into creating the lives we want so we can actually live in ceremony every day and, and help people find a better way to approach the challenges we face uh, here on on earth so get umbo is our company we sell two types of uh, functional mushroom bars mm -hmm. they're really really good we set out to make a bar that you craved rather than that you just had to choke down before a workout um, it's packed full of two and a half grams of mushrooms functional mushrooms that help you in a plethora of different ways we also have capsules that are myco rise and myco rest the rise is a formula of cordyceps rhodiola and bio nmn um, bio in a man has been shown recently to slow down the aging process. Cordyceps is a natural vasodilator, which helps oxygenate your blood. So it's a natural form of energy that you don't crash from, have the jitters or lose your appetite. And it's really, really good. To, uh, it works together with myco rest. That's reishi, the mushroom of immortality and lion's mane and some theanine that help you approach your sleep cycle um, come into it restful, everything's calmed down and you can actually recover in your sleep, reach rim sleep faster mm. and, and have better, more, more high quality sleep. So just those two capsules alone have been very, very popular and helped a lot of people. We also have tinctures and we're getting ready to launch a new product coming in August. It's going to be uh, something really different, but in a whole new area, which I'm excited to share when that time comes. No, okay. Uh, so, yeah. So, so leave Umbo, us in you know, suspense. What a tease! Yeah. You're such a tease. You know, we 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 set out to kind of be in the athletic market and and help athletes perform, but they're for everybody. Um, our thing we're coming out with in August is a little more athletic focused and more for high level performers that are 
working out daily, sweating a lot that need to replenish what they lose. And so you may be able to put two and two together if you have any knowledge there. But so, yeah, Gitumbo was our first uh you know, soiree into this um, this avenue of fungi and, and helping people. And then through Dell, my partner, Michael Love Farm, a uh, friend of his, bought the land and came about to where, hey, there's this farm. Do you want to grow mushrooms? So about a year and a half ago, I jumped on that. And we ha- now have Michael Love Farm that grows and supplies um, mush- functional mushrooms to a lot of y- young companies that are coming out that want to have uh, their brand or uh, they have a, a drink that they want to add the tinctures to or dog treats because a lot of people were finding out that dogs really benefit from wow. all of the compounds and wow. fungi so That's cool. Michael yeah Michael Love Farm was really it, it really saved me about a year ago was going through a lot of uh, adapting and changing my life and like having the ability to go to the farm grow these things and nurture them from from start to finish and provide them and the intention put into them of healing and love and all of what we do is focused on people benefiting from these and uh it's almost like the mushrooms hear us and they feel us because people really benefit and it's really the intention we put behind it to to provide something that will help people and so it's been a really fun journey um both those companies are doing well and it's fun to to, to bounce back and forth between them but with my focus being on umbo right now uh to just keep making people, uh, you know, question what they're doing and, and, and look into having a better way to function and optimally be uh, out there every day enjoying life. I am certain that your boy, number 42, is looking down, feeling mighty proud of you, bro. <laughs> I'd love to have a conversation with him about this because right? he, would, he would question me and like, dig <laughs> deep and make sure that I was like, are you prepared to share this knowledge? He'd start grilling me, you know, to make sure that I was ready. And so that's, that's a challenge for me to constantly learn. And and obviously, uh, you know, Pat was an amazing human and had, has had a huge influence. But, you know, there's a lot of amazing humans out there. And I'm, I'm actually meeting quite a few and having fun, like the mycelial web that's beneath everything that shares nutrients from plants to flowers to trees. We're also in a network, us, us humans, and if if we all try to connect with each other and do good, that exponentially raises the vibration of, of the earth and, we, and good starts to be more prevalent than bad. And there's always going to be bad. But if we can have more good, uh, you know, it's, it's just less suffering, less pain people have to deal with. Amen. I'm so glad that I got to meet uh, you. Shout out to your nephew. Yeah, Chris. It's cool. Uh, yeah. It's nice yeah. how things come about. And even like you said, you know, you thought about, my name came up and then the I next was talking time. with my Bill, with my trainer, Billy. We were just talking about you and what you're up to. I'm like, wow, man, he's doing shrooms just in the shroom world. <laughs> and then, and then like a week later, I'm at the golf course where your nephew works and yep. yeah, I'll introduce you. And that, I mean, that's that, I can't help but think that the mushrooms are, are part of that because they have created that connection of communication and sharing and wealth under the ground with each other that once it comes into our systems, I think it, it just, it's happening. It happens for me all the time. People show up, I think of them, they text me. It's it's an interesting thing. And uh, I'm glad you reached out, man. man. Synchronicity, really, baby. Yes, it's beautiful. We're all connected. We're all connected. Just so, um, remind me of your your nephew's name. I want to acknowledge him. Declan. Yeah, yeah Declan. Declan, right. Declan, cool name. Yeah, yeah. He's Declan, you the kid. man. Appreciate you, bro. <laughs> yeah, so is this, I assume that's for Colorado? CO? It stands for Colorado. It also collective, community, connection. CO can land stand oh, for so a lot cool. of things. And then Myco, M-Y-C-O, stands is, you know, Michael, you say like Michael, Michael File, a mushroom fan. Myco stands for mushroom. So oh, mushroom. Sir. Yeah, what man. You guys doing the branding. Nice. <laughs> I don't, hey, man. Yeah, man. Again, less about brand, more about cause and the product still, and making good. sure it's we're good. providing That's... good stuff. Yeah, well, yeah. I appreciate you, man. I love the way you're using your life, man. Thank you for so- sharing some of it with me today and my tribe, brother. Appreciate you so much. Of course, Chris. I appreciate it, man. We'll have to do it again sometime soon. I will take you up on that. All right, brother. All right, man. So check this out. We, uh, Jake and I just um, chatted it up a skosh after we stopped recording, and he had an idea that I want to share with you. If you're interested in checking out any, any of his products, you can um, use, you've, there's a discount. He's offering a 16, That's that was his number, like his whole career is his number, um, 16. So you get 16% discount if you if you add 
the code TT, which is Tough Talks, right? Capital T, capital T, and then the number 16, TT16, and you'll get 16% off of um, your product purchase, which is pretty generous of him. So that was kick ass. What a neat dude, huh? What a beautiful human being. Like the way he's using his life is just is truly spectacular. I acknowledged him for that again after we uh, stopped recording. It's just really, really great to see someone um, using their platform so beautifully. So uh, thanks, as always, for tuning in. And as always, until next time, great miracles. <laughs>